One thing I want to affirm is that our exam has not leaked because an examination leakage is where people get exposure to the exam maybe a, a day or two early. What we have been having is what we call early exposure where people receive the papers the same they are receiving here. Once they are in school as they distribute to the students, somebody takes a photo of the paper that the lady has been opened. That one is not a leakage, it is an early exposure. And uh, this year, we totally changed strategy in our examination and all our exams are personalized. Each exam is to an individual. So when a student allows their paper to be, a photo to be taken of their paper, then that paper is traced to an individual. And that is why this year we have said, people will be taking personal responsibility. We shall not be condemning an examination center or old school, or we are not condemning a whole, if we have uh, 20 invigilators and one of them was careless, then we shall deal with the individual. If it is about the center manager, then we deal with that center manager, because the responsibility is personal. It is not a shared one. When you are given an exam paper, that is your exam paper. If you allow your exam paper to be played around with, it is you who will suffer for it. And I'm very grateful with our colleagues from Teacher Service Commission because they have been very uh, fast. Where we need to change the centre manager, they have been very quick in doing it. Where we need to, to, to take away all the personnel in uh, an examination centre, they have done that. So our multi-agency team has worked very well from the Ngao team led by the county commissioners, deputy county commissioners, our regional commissioners, the security team again led by the same team through the county, sub-county security committees. Our colleagues in the Ministry of ICT have done a very good job in dealing with the cyber crime. So we have had a quite a good run. We've been doing examination for quite some time, but I can say with a lot of confidence, this year's exam, has been handled in the best way that we could do. On grade 9, we did, we did this in two phases. There was phase 1, which we did 3,500 classrooms. Those ones are all 100% ready. We have been commissioning. I commissioned uh, more than 10 yesterday. I'll be commissioning quite a number today in Meru, in Taraganidi, and in Embu. So the first 3,500, those ones are ready. We are doing another 7,500, which are between 40% and 90%. And most of them that have engaged within the next four weeks, by the 15th of December, we shall have cleared what we are doing as government, 11,000 classrooms. Our colleagues in the political class, the members of National Assembly, Government gave them a conditional grant of 3.4 billion shillings through CDF. And 
they were requested to match for every shilling of the 3.4 billion that government gave to CDF, CDF was to give another 3.4 billion shilling. So that in total, our MPC is handling another 6.8 billion shillings, which will do for us another 7,000 classrooms. Plus our 11,000 classrooms, we, in, we intend to have done 11,000 class, 18,000 classrooms before January. We have also engaged with some of our partners and uh, we have another 2 billion shillings which we shall do to do which we shall use to do another 2000 classrooms and we are saying that uh, we are a, we know in January there might be one or two three a few schools which may have been missed out for one reason or the other and these 2000 classrooms will be able to handle any cases that may arise in January you know also sometimes People do migrate, sometimes children and parents change schools. A school may receive another additional 50 kids in grade 9 who are not there in grade 7, in grade 8. So these are cases that we shall be able to handle as we go into January. But as government, as I said when we are engaging with the teachers, is that we are on course in implementing competence-based education.